Welcome back everyone. In this video lesson, we are going to complete the JavaScript part of this custom alert dialog. Let me add a script here. And I am going to create new object here. Custom alert. My machine is a bit slow. Okay, new function. because of the screen recording my machine responding very very slow and I am going to add two methods one is show dialog and close method First, I want to access the dialog container dlg equal to document dot get element by id and id of the element is dialog container and I just want to access the dialog body also. So what I'm going to do is this dialog contains the element. So I'm going to access it from this DLG element, DLG dot very instead of using this get document element by ID, I'm using query selector because I don't want to traverse through all the DOM elements since I know the container, uh, the ID is dialog body. As you can see the change here, here I am using just the id name, here I am using the id with as symbol. So query selector method always needs this uh, ash for the ids, dot for the class and uh, for, the for the elements you can directly use the name. and actually this is uh, this is this is actually a css selector if you are familiar with the css selectors you you will master this method okay now i i got the dialog body now i want to set the style for this dialog top equal to as you can see this dialog container I set the top to minus 30 percentage so what I'm going to do here in my JS is I am going to set it as 30 percentage and dialog style dot opacity to 1 so from 0 it will become 1 and we need to set the body text dialog body dot text content equal to message so this message should come from this parameter okay let me remove this text from here and on click custom alert dot show and this message yeah for the default alert on click alert the same message I am just removing this custom text from here okay since we are using single quote here we need to escape this single quote and this string also I'm escaping it and with that we need to close this dialog also I missed it okay 
okay now we look into the close method I'm just copying it and pasting it here so simple what I did here I set top as 30 percentage and opacity to 1 so I'm going to do the reverse here 0 and minus 30 percentage and we need to call this method close on this ok on click custom alert dot close ok let's test it ok it's not working let's check the console oops you're getting errors like this query selector of null ok so this is null why this is null yeah this typo the container name is wrong so it's giving me the error and I found one more thing this should come here I'm sorry for this they should come here yeah now we can test yeah but I found the body uh, dialog body is empty okay now okay button is also not working custom alert dot close okay we need to copy and paste it here so this will fix the close close dialog issue but why the body is not set okay dialog body name I'm sorry again this is wrong now it will work okay so this is how you can design the custom alert dialog using javascript and uh, css for transitions and using the html layout thanks for watching this video you can subscribe to my channel to watch more videos like this if you like this video you can hit the like button and if you want to ask your questions you can directly ask me questions in the below comment section just check the description area for the source code also thank you bye bye